I'm Craig Phillips and I'm going to show you how to install and use the UK Assistant plugin for Euroscope. First we need to install the Visual C++ 2010 x86 runtime package. You need to ensure that you install the x86 version and not the x64 version despite your Windows bitrate. This is because the plugin is compiled using 32-bit so it can be used on 32-bit or 64-bit machines. Once you have installed the C++ runtime package, download and extract the UK Assistant DLL file to a folder. Then start up Euroscope in the profile you wish to add the plugin. To install the plugin, click Other Set, Plugins, then click Load, and locate the UK Assistant DLL, and then click Open. To allow the plugin to draw history trails on the display, click UK Assistant in the plugin name list and select Standard ES Radar Screen in the Forbidden to Draw on Types list. And click the left arrow to move the selected item to the Allow to Draw on Types list. Then click Close. UK Assistant has five main features Squawk Code Allocator, Initial Altitude Setter, Estimated and Actual Off Block Time intention codes and history trails, all of which I shall show you how to configure in this video. To configure squawk code allocations, in the command bar type .uka space s, then enter. Squawk codes are automatically assigned for selected departure airports once a flight plan has been received or if a controller overrides a squawk code. Squawk codes are given based on the direction of flight. As an example, I shall enable the squawk code allocations for Heathrow. To do this, type the four-digit airport ICAO code in the text box, EGLL for Heathrow. Then click Add or Enter. Added ICAOs are enabled by default. You can disable the squawk code allocations for that airport by unchecking the checkbox next to the ICAO. Or you can select the ICAO and click Remove. You can disable the auto allocation of squawk codes entirely by unchecking the Enable Squawk Codes checkbox. Once you are happy with the setup, press OK. OK, I'm now connected to Heathrow Delivery. It's automatically assigned two squawk codes for aircraft departing Heathrow according to their destination airport. If you're not happy with the squawk code given, you can either set 0200 to assign a new squawk code or you can manually set the squawk code yourself using this dialog box. To configure the initial altitudes in the command bar type .uka space i then enter. Initial altitudes are set by the plugin once a flight plan has been received. Initial altitudes are dependent on the SID route and departure airport. Initial altitudes are set by the main Euroscope window. The plugin does not allow to set initial altitudes from proxy windows. In this list, I have a list of the initial altitudes for Heathrow. To add a new initial altitude for a Southampton to Mike Sid at Gatwick, for example, type the ICAO, EGKK, the Sid identifier, SAM to Mike, which comes from the ESE file and the initial altitude which is 4000 feet. Then click add or enter. New initial altitude entries are enabled by default. To disable the entry, uncheck the checkbox next to the entry. Initial altitudes can be disabled entirely by unchecking the enable initial altitudes checkbox. To edit an initial altitude for an entry, Double click the entry and change the initial altitude, then press add or enter. To delete an entry, select the entry and then press delete selected. Once you are happy with the setup, press OK. OK, I'm now connected back up to Heathrow Delivery and I now have three aircraft in the departure list and it's assigned the initial altitude automatically according to the SID. We can also add tag functions. For instance, you can right click on a squawk to tell the plugin to issue a new squawk. 
Note, the recycle squawk function only works on the instance of the plugin that is assigning the squawk codes. To tell a remote client to assign a new squawk code, set the squawk code to 0200 and the squawk code will be recycled. In the departure list, for example, click the S button. This opens up the column setup dialog box. Click or add an item to add a function. Functions can be initiated either by left or right mouse click. I want to recycle the squawk code each time the squawk code is right clicked. In the right button drop down box, select UK Assistant Recycle Squawk Code. You can also add functions to reset the initial altitude or do both. Once you're happy with the setup, click OK. After adding the function, I can now right click the squawk code in the departure list and it will recycle the squawk. The next feature is off block times. Estimated and actual off block times can be displayed on a tag or a list. The estimated departure time comes from the flight plan. The actual departure time is set when a controller sets the ground status to push. The actual off block time will not be shown to controllers who log on after the ground status is set to push. To add the estimated and actual off block time to the departure list, for example, click the S button on the departure list. Then select the tag item type UK Assistant Estimated Departure Time or Actual Off Block Time. The estimated off block time can be revised by the controller by adding the Edit Estimated Depth Time function when the estimated depth time is left clicked. Click OK to save the settings. To change the colour of the time and how the time is displayed, in the command bar type .uka space t, then enter. You can remove the colon from the times by unchecking the separate time with colon checkbox. You can change the colours of the tag items by clicking the colour. Click OK to save the settings. I'm connected up to Heathrow again. If I set Speedbird 285's ground status to push, the actual off block time is populated in the departure list. The next feature I'd like to show is the intention codes. The intention codes are displayed on an aircraft's tag. It is used to quickly indicate to the controller where the aircraft is headed. Aircraft landing in the UK display the last two digits of the airport ICAO code. There are too many different codes that I could list so I'm not going to list them all now. We need to add the intention code into the tag. To do this we should use the tag editor. Click other set, tag editor. Choose the relevant tag family, level and type. And in the tag item type, scroll nearly all the way down to the bottom and click UK Assistant slash Intention Code. Once you're happy with the tag editor, click OK. I'm now connected to Heathrow Delivery again, where we have a view of the traffic around the airport. I've added the intention code next to the altitude on the tag. Kestrel 023 is landing at Gatwick. We can tell by the KK intention code. If an aircraft's intention is not known, ZZ is displayed. Departing aircraft also have an intention code. Turk Air 9015 has just departed Heathrow and is headed in the Stromboll direction, denoted by S3. The next feature I'd like to show is history trails. To configure the history trails in the command bar type .uka space h then enter. History trails are drawn on the radar display if the plugin has permission to draw on the radar type and the aircraft's ground speed is more than 60 knots. To change the shape of the trail choose an option in the trail type drop down box. To opt to have a degrading trail size check the degrading trail checkbox. To have the shape have smooth edges, check the anti-alias checkbox. Specify the maximum number of history to show. The maximum UK assistant provides is 99. You can change the colour of the history trail by clicking the colour button. You can enable or disable history trails by checking the enable history trails checkbox. Once you're happy with the setup, press OK. To prevent Euroscope from drawing history trails, click Other Set, 
display settings and set the number of history dots to zero and press OK. I have connected up to VATSIM. We can see the degrading history trails on the aircraft whose ground speeds are more than 60 knots.